Welcome to your CCPS Science Review Lab. I got one for you. Check out my meme and tell me why it's funny. So, an animal cell and a plant cell go out together. The animal cells, cell says, I feel like there's a wall between us. Why is that funny, guys? Come on. Emotional wall, cell wall, get it? <laughs> anyway. Obviously, today we're talking about plant cells and animal cells. I want to talk about some of the differences as well as some of the similarities. If we look at the two cells right away, you can see that they both have a nucleus. So we would consider that a similarity. Looking at the shapes of these cells, you can see that the plant cell has this nice rigid sort of rectangle thing going on. Whereas an animal cell is more of a circular sort of blobish shape. Now, what allows the plant cell to keep that rigidity, because it obviously doesn't have a skeleton like we do, doesn't have an exoskeleton the way an insect might, but yet plants are capable of standing very, very straight up and down. What gives them that ability is this plant, is this, um, cell wall that goes around each cell. So it allows those cells to stack on top of each other and next to each other in a very orderly fashion. And that's what's going to give the plant its nice up and down ability to stand there. So that would be a difference because we don't see that in the animal um, cell here at all. Um, now, even though the plant cell has this uh, cell wall. It still also has a cell membrane that kind of holds everybody together, just like the animal cell does. That's the cell membrane there. Um, you can see other organelles that are obviously very similar. One that serves, has a similar job in both cells, but looks different, are these vacuoles. Okay, think of them almost like little storage bubbles. Okay, those vacuoles can hold food or they can surround and contain waste. In an animal cell, you'll probably see a couple of small ones of these. If you were to look under a microscope, our picture here only has one, but with a real cell, you'd probably see a couple of small ones. We're in a plant cell, you're always going to see one large vacuole. That's the norm within a plant cell. Now, there's another part of both of these cells that are you can't really see in our picture, okay? But it's the part that sort of makes everything else work. And that's something called cytoplasm. Think of cytoplasm as like a jelly sort of liquid within each cell that all of the other organelles float around in. So if there wasn't, any cytoplasm in there, all those organelles would be sort of stuck in one spot and they wouldn't be able to move around and do the, their jobs appropriately. So that cytoplasm is crucial, crucial, crucial for both types of cells to exist. Okay. So when you're thinking about cells, I want you to think about the one of the big differences being that the plant cell has a cell wall and the animal cell does not. And one of the big similarities is that both cells share or have cytoplasm. So I want you to show what you know. I want you to look at this picture. And in looking at this plant, I want you to think about the parts of the cells that we talked about and which ones are most evident here, okay? So go back, look at the plant cell, look at the animal cell, and tell me what organelles do you think you can kind of imagine working together in this plant as you see it? Show what you know. Good luck.